Hello everybody, my name's Brodos and today we're gonna do another Hearthstone deck review, this time Agro Paladin. So, with the release of Mysterious Challenger, we have been seeing a lot of Paladin, but it was always that secret Paladin, which is really annoying. And now, after the Green Patron nerf, we have the chance to, you know, fulfill your duty as a true warrior of the light to make something new and, you know, it's pretty much... Ebola then. So we'll go through the mulligan uh, and the card choice, also some of the matchups and yeah, let's jump right into it. <laughs> Alright, so the card choice. So the main idea behind this deck is to create like a fusion between Zoo Warlock and Face Hunter. So a deck that which controls the board while also pushes for damage at the same time. And the way you succeed uh, in this, it's not having as many sticky minions. Like, okay, you have sticky minions, you have cards like Haunted Creeper and Shielded Minibot. But look at this, Shielded Minibot, Divine Shield. Divine Shield is one of the main themes of this deck. You have Argent Squire, you have Seal of Champions, you have Blood Knight, you have Argent Horse Rider. It's like, mm, divine, uh, it's like Jesus. Uh, so that's the way this deck, like, you have the board stay the board, you know? And also you have charge minions like Arcane Golem, uh, Wolf Rider, and also Argent Horse Rider, and as a finisher Leroy Jenkins, which are like really not expected, especially that many of them. You have some, you know, board presence with cards like Master for Battle, Knife Juggler, Gormog the Impaler, and Consecrate, so they really help you maintain the board in a nice state, so you always have like some board control and you can always push for damage with your charge minions. And then you have the weapons, uh, the two true silver champions, uh, together with some buffs, uh, as we already said, seal of champions and blessing of might. So the whole idea of this is uh, to just have a nice board, and if your opponent plays a big taunt minion, you can even trade with it with the buffs and stuff, or you can just iron Bikal, continue going for face, and push for that lethal. Okay, so the mulligan. Well, obviously you want to get as good of a mana curve as you can. So. Just imagine this like a race. You're just sitting in your car, and uh, but near you, there are other cars. And like in one car, there is Haunted Creeper. In the other one, there is Nessus Aspirant. In the third one, Mad Scientist. And the curve is coming up. And you have to fight. You really have to fight for this uh, nice curve. And you really have to enter in the curve nicely. And the best way to do so is by having Argent Squire or Lepronome in your starting hand. Also, if you have a coin, you can also get away with it with Haunted Creeper and Shielded Minibot. Knife Juggler is not so good because he usually just gets removed, but you just have to win the race, get out of, get out of the curve first, and just, you know, be dominant. So, get to your early game, just drop all the charge minions, drop that, uh, drop uh, the card draw, drop the weapons, go for that nice early game curve. <laughs> Alright, so the matchups. So, the first thing that comes to your mind really control heavy decks with a lot of removal is what counters this deck. No! <laughs> so, uh, you would think Fatigue Warrior, for example, is something that this deck cannot win at any cost because they have so much life gain, it's really annoying, they're always like sitting at one fucking million armor... No. Okay, so the, ver the way this deck loses is with your opponent playing minions actually. Uh, I had cases where I played against Fatigue Warrior, they had a lot of armor, but I was pushing damage every turn and then just Divine Favor, push more damage, Divine Favor, push more damage. And there is no way for them to have enough armor and for me not to uh, have enough damage. Also, I played against a few priests where they just like Holy Nova, but one minion stayed alive, I continued pushing damage. Holy Nova again, one minion stayed alive. They played like Twilight Guardian, silence, more damage. And it's just, if you have an established board, whatever it is, if you have one uh, Silver Hand recruit and you just continue pushing damage, you will be fine. So, uh, the only way, I mean the only way, one of the main ways this deck loses, like 90% of the matches that I lose is by havi not having a board control by turn 3. If your opponent has like Mana Wyrm into Scientist and then Mirror Entity, and then a Flame Waker, or for example the Nessus Aspirant into Piloted Shredder. You know, if your opponent gets a really, really good curve, it's uh, it's really tough. 
Alright, so thank you all for watching guys, I really appreciate it. If you like the video, you can subscribe for more. You can watch me every day at twitch.tv slash brothershs and the gameplay video will be available in a day or two after this video is released. Thank you guys for watching so much and till the next one, bye bye.